Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. Uh, this is Bruce, and welcome to my shop. And um, this morning we're going to uh, talk a little bit about this uh, project that's come in. It's a printing press parts. I uh, showed them, I think, in one of the previous movies. But um, the liners, they're liners. They're made out of um, uh, UHWMP uh, 14 mil thick um, uh, polyethylene, and um, I'm, uh, I'm calling this the case of the mantle clock. Um, what we what we have is um, these parts that are like shaped like this, and they 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 bolt on to a plate, and um, they have a counter bore in here where the center where the center of the plate uh, plate pin fits in, and there's five inserts into them, and this area here is the the main working area the the, the 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 diameter here is the main working area so what uh what i've set up and what i'm setting up is to uh, make two at a time they're right and left hand sides and four i've got four to make all together um, and that's what they look like when i set it up on the uh, on this mill to take the measurements and i did i did a pickup I did a pick up of all of the uh, all of the dimensions of each section with doing an XY. I'd set, I put, I put a piece of aluminium uh, machine block in, set these two up in line, and um, and use the centre the bolt that was holding this to the table as the uh, at the at X and Y zero, and then went round and picked up every every point that I needed to pick up. To be able to produce, reproduce these, so that's the pickup, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that. Uh, this has given me just a, a rough dimensioning, so I can reset it up. Um, and uh, what I've done is I've laid it out. I've just laid it out temporarily um, on on this. Uh, on the, uh, p the the polyethylene sheet, I've set the sheet up on a sacrificial aluminium base, uh, clamped that down to the the mill, and uh, put countersunk uh, th bolts screws in into the uh, into the alley. I've now got to machine this down from 15 mil to 14 mil surface, and then I will go ahead and do all the um, all the work I have to do. Put drill, tap, fit the inserts in, uh, bore out the centre here with a um, with a 100mm uh, cup, uh, cup drill and then afterwards uh, with a um, uh, with a boring and facing head I'll bring these these radiuses up to the finished um, finished dimension um, and then after that we'll be left to cut this out. Some of it I'll cut with a saw and some of it I'll trim up, I'll reset up and I'll trim it up, probably block the whole four of them and, and do the finished facets. So that's the, um, that's the project. Uh, in order to work out which would be the best way of going of, of machining the thickness down, I did some trials with, um, with a few different cutters this morning and uh, I set it up on the other mill. Um, I, I set it up on the other mill, and uh, what what I came up with was a a 25 mil um, two flute cutter, nice and sharp. Uh, it seems to do the job the best. And and the here it, it, in the setup, there was a bit loose in the centre, um, so there's a little bit of movement, and that's one of the problems with um, with this poly, is that um, it's very, very um, elastic, and it changes its um, uh, it changes its it warps and moves and things, and so it's very, very hard to hold tolerances to hold tolerances when you're machining it. So um, there's a, there's a number of issues that need to be dealt with whilst machining it, and hopefully I won't have too many of them here on this uh, particular job. So. The case of the uh, the mantle clock, and just to remind you, it looks like a mantle clock.
It's a green mantle clock. So we'll be back with uh, more as we progress.